here at the Langham Hotel, which is supposedly one of the most, if not the most, haunted hotel in London. And trust me, I've been hearing so many stories about this hotel. I cannot wait to begin this investigation. It's gonna be crazy. There's so many spirits behind me. So let's go. Check out the third floor first. Oh yeah, this is the third floor. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm yeah. so confused. Number three. Okay, yeah. This is so, right there. Yeah, this is the most haunted floor. So let's walk around and see. It's almost 3 a.m. too, so we're almost in dip, we're pretty much in dead time. It's third floor burning. Yeah, 
Looks like it's been removed. I want to just walk down the rest of the way. Thirty-five. I already checked. That's three thirty-two. That door down there is so creepy. I know. I know. I zoomed it on earlier. Do it again right now. No, but like honestly, this is an eerie floor. Okay, so we just got back from exploring the the ground level, like the first floor, the lobby. Uh, we were on the third floor and the fourth floor, and then we bumped into a security guard. And he was saying how he was like, it's so eerie just walking around by yourself through these hallways. And it is, as you guys can see in the footage, it's really eerie and stuff. And then I just said, do you want to be on camera? I always ask, right? And he just said he, unfortunately he can't cause he's working and stuff, but he was open to telling me about experiences and everything. He's been here for four years and he said he was really scared in the beginning because he always heard about the hauntings at this place and how, you know, guests apparently call every single day to this hotel asking questions about it being haunted. Like before they, check in or if they're deciding whether or not they want to stay here 
there's always someone calling every single day asking about the ghosts and everything and he said he doesn't think there's any ghosts here so he could just be saying that you know because i don't know if they're really allowed to talk about it there was another person that i tried getting information out of a few days ago and they wouldn't budge either they're kind of just like what it's not haunted just kind of acting like you know they know it's haunted but they just won't admit it kind of thing so i don't know if that's what's going on because that is kind of a common theme in haunted hotels is they don't really want to admit that it's haunted when it actually is because they're scared it will ruin the business but at the same time the paranormal actually helps with businesses i believe because if a place is haunted so many people want to go there but anyways he was saying that he would hear like noises and stuff but it would just end up being something different and something that's not paranormal and he was just basically saying it's creepy but he's been here when it's like pitch black and nothing has really happened to him but he says there's definitely like a creepy vibe just in the you know the hallways and everything because it looks like a giant maze it's really weird so but yeah at least he was honest and i appreciate that but he said in the beginning he was really scared to work here because he heard about all the stories and everything and so <laughs> where do i begin what do I think about the Langham London? So, of course, I am back home now. I'm just going to be real with you guys. I don't... I don't think it's haunted. Okay, that's a lie. I think it's haunted, but I don't think it's the most, most haunted hotel in London. There's no responses, no EVPs, no spirit box responses, no um, footsteps, no knocks, no nothing. Just nothing. The most haunted floors, supposedly, allegedly, at the Langham London are the third floor and the fourth floor. More so, the third floor. Specifically for room 333. Now, I wasn't staying in that room, unfortunately. Now, when I go back, I would love to stay in that room, but the whole reason why I was even at the Langham Hotel was because I was there to promote Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I never have heard of the Langham London before. I was there with Warner Brothers, which was such a magical, amazing trip. It was just everything. It, it was perfect. and oh, So definitely check out my video of my whole adventure. But that was the reason why I was there. Everybody involved in this campaign, they were staying at the Langham London. So of course, before I went, I was like, you know what? I want to know if this hotel is haunted because anytime I'm staying at a hotel, I always look it up. Like if I'm staying at a hotel and I'm not there for the paranormal, I'm always just looking anyways. So I, I wanted to look it up and it came up as the most haunted hotel in London. So I was so excited, but I just knew that I couldn't base my entire time there based around the paranormal because I, I had a job to do pretty much so i was literally eating sleeping breathing fantastic beast the secrets of dumbledore but i loved every second of it so i you know at the back of my mind though i knew you know i was kind of keeping an eye out for any weird activity going on and if you watched part one then you would have seen that the window in my room it was open it was the coldest day in london like freezing it hurt to go outside it was that cold and jonathan and i were out all day and when we came back to the room, the window was open like a little bit and it had to, someone had to have opened that because when we got back into the room, it was freezing and I felt like I was still outside and I was like, what the heck? Like, I hope I'm not getting sick or something, but no, the window was open. And then I also put in a clip when it was like 6 a.m. and we heard this weird sound moaning like it sounded like a ghost but it, it wasn't and everybody who was staying at the hotel for fantastic piece the secrets of dumbledore i would hear them talking like oh this is supposed to be like the most haunted hotel and i would talk to them about it if they've experienced anything and nobody really experienced anything now i took a lot of taxis in london and all the taxi drivers were like oh the langham london it's so fancy and it is i would ask them i was like have you heard any ghost stories and they would tell me about the ghost stories that like everybody knows of and it just made me more excited about it but i never experienced anything in my room i never felt uneasy in my room a lot of people have a hard time sleeping apparently and i slept like a baby my brother slept like a baby we had no issues at all with that and we were exhausted because it was very long 
days, <laughs> but very exciting days. And I just would pass out every time I got back to the hotel. And you know, when we got to walk around and investigate, I really just wanted to go on the third floor and see what it's like because I wasn't up there. And you know, we, we were walking around at 3 a.m. and it was a very uneasy feeling on the third floor. You felt like if I was up there alone, I think I would have felt like I, I would be constantly looking over my shoulder. And that's kind of how I felt when I was up there because I was like, I don't know, you just felt like you were being watched. And it's just very eerie. I could not find 333. We could not find it. And it's interesting too, because some of the people that work at the hotel, who I was talking to about the ghosts and stuff, they were basically, like I don't know if they're supposed to say it's not haunted because it's a super fancy hotel and you know, they don't want to maybe scare you know, guests away or whatever. And I understand that. And even though like you can just look it up and it literally says the most haunted hotel in London and everyone seems to, you know, know the ghost stories and are very familiar with it. But a lot of them kind of shrug it off when they talked to you, when they were talking to me about it. And that's okay. But I would just kind of ask like, have you had an experience? And they'd be like, no, I've never experienced anything. I've been here for this amount of years and no, or I've been here for this amount of months and no. I should have asked about 333, like when I was checking out, but I just, I wasn't even thinking about it because I don't know, I'm so exhausted and everything. <laughs> but I did call the Langham London. A man answered the phone and I just said, hi, I have a really random question. And he said, okay. <laughs> And I just got into it. I said, does, three thir does room 333 exist? And he paused. And I think he thought I was crazy. And I said, does room 333 exist? I wish I was recording this phone call. And he was like, what? And I just kept saying, you know the third floor? Like, is there is there a room 333? And he said, no. And then I said to him, but I keep reading about a room, like room 333 being the most haunted room at the Langham London. And he kept saying, there's no room 333 at the hotel. Then he said he's only been there for five months. Then he asked me if I stayed in this room. And I said, no, but I want to. <laughs> and he said, he's only been there for five months. He's never heard of a haunted hotel room at the hotel and he's never heard of room 333. He said it does not exist. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're very hush hush over there about it. Was it once there and then they like took it out or they, I don't know, like made it into something else? Like, I don't know. And apparently a lot of stuff happens in that room because it's the most haunted room, of course. But then I also read that the ghost in there only makes its appearance in October. So like, it would be interesting if I was going in the fall, like October, and 333 does exist. Like if I, you know, talk to somebody else and they actually were like, it does exist. But obviously with the paranormal, it's hit or miss. You're not going to always capture things or experience things so it was a little disappointing because absolutely nothing and there's stuff that I didn't even put into this video so when nothing really happens it's just I'm kind of like do I even want to post that but I think it shows just the reality of ghost hunting it's just not every place is going to be crazy I mean I wish I want it to be but the Langham Hotel it's not a crazy place for a lot of paranormal activity in my short time there so I hope I made it creepy though with like the music and everything that's usually how I make it creepy I'll add in some creepy music and stuff and I just think it's creepy the whole vibe of it even when I was editing I had chills because I you know being on the third floor I had like it just was so uneasy but I feel like a broken record but anyways I'm gonna go so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video